Why would he? Okay, this is interesting. We know that someone's up there, and he called it in. But why would he lie about it now? He must have some reason. Is he being held hostage? And perhaps he didn't hit his son. Maybe someone else did. And he's first trying to cover it up, because someone else is here. Let's see. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All <laughs> well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows what the lad? He's so hiding something, really. Just fell off. And you and you jo and you noticed it just now? Okay, there's a blood stain here. He's bleeding. Why? Is that blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Really? Now I've been pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. It's here Sounds somewhere. Oi, don't you go mother-ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. A string. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Ah, uh, one of the lamps. You moved one of the lamps. If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here. Right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. Oh, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in. Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. Really? You see how many damn plugs there are? Okay, so why would someone grab this? Unless... Maybe they used it as a weapon? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, so I... Took this... Used it, used it to threaten these guys, maybe? I don't know. Let's continue exploring. Oh, there's a pitchfork here. Okay, fireplace poker. And it's got blood on it. That explains the blood on the wall. Could do a better job dusting. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I, was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Look like a shit ugly thing. Your foot now. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? I thought you cut your hand. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Give it up, man. God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve yeah. here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because you're lying. I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. I don't know why you cover for it. No, you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. Does he have I'm your? Not bullshitting you, honest. We'll see. You see, he's got a hostage, and that's why you can't talk about it. Is that it? 
Yeah, so someone went in here. They fought. He actually brought up the poker to slash his attacker. He went over here, stumbled over here. Uh, this assail assailant grabbed his, I don't know, other son or perhaps uh, mother. She used this to uh, try and escape, and she failed. the The attacker told Toad to not tell anyone, because if he did, he'd hurt his hostage, and then he escaped. That's my theory. Scratch marks. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No. There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? Oh, that's some fairly no, large marks. Reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. But you don't have claws. You couldn't have made those marks. Could he? I think it's time we talk to Snow. I'm just gonna check out this place a little bit more. Most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. I know. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Hmm, there's a busted latch. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. It's, it, it enhances my theory. Then why climb in the window? Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. It's been rotten for <laughs> oh, weeks. poor Toad. It's getting old. Wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please... Nope. Please, just bugger off. Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. There was. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in me own bloody home. It's Tell me the truth. Seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? You lied, Toad. I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? 
Yes. Uh, Mr. Toad, you're he's bleeding. bleeding. Come on, man. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman ain't. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. Oh. It's been a whole morning, I could tell you that. What was okay. he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really. Yeah, I why did. didn't you? But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, oh. he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, uh sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine oh. bit of dress it is. I wonder what would happen if we... Oh, it's that one! Oh! No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Of course. Wait. Didn't we see this in the book? Uh, Fables? Symbols book? It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it. No, it belongs to Lawrence. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. We can well, read it it's then. Been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Yeah, we can give it to him, and then we can read it. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Let's hope things turn out well for these two. The butcher. Okay, Lawrence then. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Let's hope he's alive. I wonder what... I wonder what was going to happen if we chose the prince first. Well, let's see what happens here first. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Persuasive? Okay. <clears throat> so let's just give him the letter. Tell him that his wife is dead. Watch his reaction. Search the place. Question him and get out. Sounds like a plan. Can you hear me? That doesn't Don't look just peep into someone's That doesn't house. look Check good. That does not look good.
fuck. So, he cut himself, and since we didn't get here in time, he died. That sucks. Because the thing that happened at the frog's house could probably have waited. At least it seems like it. They were not in any imminent danger. So I'm not sure if I made the right choice here. However, who knows what consequences there would be if I went here first. I don't know. Let's just check him out. Damn it. Wait, that's not suicide. He got a... Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with No! Him. No. Let me go. What? No! <laughs> what is it that you're telling us? Oh. Oh. He's badly hurt. He's Bigby, water. Kitchen. Looks his head. He's been beaten up bad. Well, I guess Fables could take a lot of punishment, but he's been through a lot. Pay the rent next week. Pizza and fridge, please don't look for me. Goodbye. Did you find it yet? Oh no, she left him. Did you try to kill yourself or did someone else do this? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. What happened? What happened? Do you still have that letter? Yes. Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. We should open it. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. That's so sad. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. That's so sad. Need to was this suicide because he was so yeah the cloak was her way of cloaking herself from her father or, or cloaking her beauty actually not just from her father but from everyone I guess yeah and she left this guy and he couldn't take it. That's that's my first instinct, but I might be wrong. Let's see what we find. It's a nice dagger. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? So many questions. It's a bullet hole, okay, that makes... If there's a bullet hole... Then I don't think this is suicide. 
Oh, actually, he shot his head. Oh no, look at his head. He got shot in the head. Look. There's a gun over here. Oh well, I didn't see that. It's a, a, bullet, a shell casing. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Okay, so that but there's a casing here. So there must be another gun. Right? Wait, so pills, guns, and knife. Like a triple suicide attempt? This, this is so, so weird. Uh, I guess Fables can take quite a beating. But wow. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Hmm. Doesn't really help. Let's grab the gun. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Good detective work. Can we grab the... Uh... Oh, I actually don't have a mouse pointer anymore. I'm guessing that means we can back out. Okay, so examine. What? Fine. So I thought I saw a bullet in his head before, and he probably taking sleeping pills and got cut in the stomach. Well, right now it looks like suicide, but the gun wasn't fired. That's that's weird. That doesn't add up. Oh, that's strange. strange. Hard oh, edges. Oh. This pool, like something was here and got moved. Okay, so this is a door that flips down. And it's probably a bed or something in there. And this thing was down when this happened, all of this happened. Let's look at this first. When do you think that was taken? She's so cute. Before all this. Okay, bullet hole. Bullet passed through the chair. Angle works if he shot himself. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, we have a shell casing and we have a bullet, but the gun wasn't fired. Unless he tried to kill himself a week ago. Okay, what horrors will we discover when we pull down this thing? Here we go! Nothing. Son of a... What did it say? My dearest faith? What is that? Uh, oh no, it was suicide, wasn't it? It stuck to the bed a little. Dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. A suicide note? I don't know. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Yeah. Well, I don't think so, but... I can only hope. I can only hope. 